www.classcap.com slash en slash tutor slash javi dash montalva learn languages while having fun please check out my website on the comments enjoy the video carry on uh, mi novio empieza, uh, empieza a trabajar a las ocho Empieza ocho. Ocho. Ocho, ocho, ocho. Ok, ocho. Oh, ocho, ok. Uh, la hermana de Pedro uh, uh, vive en Río de Janeiro. Janeiro. Yeah. Río de Janeiro en España. Yeah, en yeah, Portuguese, yeah. Río de Janeiro. Yeah, Río de Janeiro. Río de Janeiro. Río de Janeiro. Yeah, Janeiro is uh, January in Portuguese. Mm -hmm. Nueve. Ah, los fines de los, los fines de semana nosotros uh, desayunamos uh, uh -huh. en el bar eh, en el bar de al lado uh, de nuestra casa y uh, casa y uh, después uh, vamos uh, uh, de compras o al cine y por la noche casi siempre uh, uh, salimos. Uh, uh -huh. Uh, a cenar uh, fuera o quedamos con amigos. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, uh, ¿Cuántos uh, cuántas horas uh, trabajas uh, tú, tú a la semana? So how many hours do you work a week? Yeah. Okay, let's move on to something different. Let's talk about indefinido. Okay. Okay, is that clear? It's a little bit blurry, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, I can read it. It's okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so now it's the indefinite the past. Okay. Okay. So in the, so indefinite is like I have done it at a specific time. No, right? exactly. It's like I did. I went. I yeah. ate. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So so I had so so I had um uh enter say here so so I had me um enter Exactly. Ayer me enteré. Yeah. Del nacimiento de, de, de mi sobrino. So yesterday I learned or I knew about the birth of my um, nephew. Nephew. Oh, okay. Nephew. Sobrino and niece. Sobrina. Okay. Dos. Uh, okay. So, so uh, el, el lunes pasado um, pude... Uh -huh. Terminar el libro que. Oh, uh, me, me, me prestaste tú. Uh, me prestaste, yeah. yeah. Tú es no mi diría. Yeah. Uh, yes. me, mis nietos, uh, like, mis nietos uh, uh -huh. durmieron mucho anoche. Durmieron. 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 So, my grandchildren slept. Much. A lot last night. Okay. Yeah. Cuatro. Uh, anterior, yeah. Yo, so, um, obtene, uh, okay, um, this is like tener. This no, is the same. Okay? No. Oh, okay. Tengo. Okay. So, so, so. No, tener, by the past. Tuve. Mm -hmm. tuve. So, 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 obtuve. Obtuve. Mm -hmm. Obtuve. So, obtuve is I obtain. Obtuve. I received. Okay. La beca um, de la universidad. Okay, beca is a scholarship. Scholarship in the university. Mm -hmm. El año pasado, uh, uh, so poder is pude. So, um, pudimos. Uh, pudieron, ellos. Pudieron. Pudieron, okay. okay they so, could. They yeah, could. Yeah, yeah. Not, not we. Oh, yeah. they were able to, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pudieron terminar la construcción del aeropuerto. Aeropuerto. Mm -hmm. Aeropuerto, yeah. Mm -hmm. Elon Musk, okay. Yeah. And this is Nasser. Uh, so, mm -hmm. so Elon Musk uh, nació. Nació. Nació, no, okay. Nasser. Nació. Mm -hmm. nació. nació. So, to be, to be born. born. Mm -hmm. en, en Sudáfrica en, okay. 1971. Mm -hmm. 1971. Mm -hmm. 1971. Okay. Another, I have a quick question here. So, mm -hmm. in Costa Rica, I faced that. So, let's say, 
I have to say 3.27, like with decimal. How do we say in Spanish? Okay, that? first of all, in Spanish, for decimals, we do not use a point. We use a comma. Comma, okay, okay. For us, the point is uh, for thousands, okay? Okay. So it's like the other way around. Yeah, yeah, right. So thousand is three. So you will say uno, for example. Imagine you want to say 1.01. 1 .01. Okay. Uh -huh. So you say 1,01. Oh, 1,01. Zero zero because I had, like, when I was saying that, I was just translating from English and people had, mm -hmm. like, especially in the stores, like, they were. And also, another thing, since we're here. So let's say, I know, like, in the time we said medio and things like that, like, mm -hmm. half an hour. But let's say the time is 3.21 or something like that. Okay, tres. Okay, you could you could say like the military way. You could say tres veintiuno. Oh, okay, so tres veintiuno. Okay. Or you could say las tres y veintiuno. Okay, so three and twenty-one. Mm -hmm. And if it's the other way around, you want to say two or until, you will say menos. For example, ah, nice. um, so imagine less... it's, it's a quarter to Four five. Right? Menos. So it's el cuarto, las la cinco menos cuarto. Uh -huh. Remember in Spanish always. Uh, hour first, and then minutes. In minute, okay. Siete. Uh, Elon Musk fondo varias empresas mm -hmm. importantes mm -hmm. por ejemplo Tesla y PayPal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fundo, uh, fundo. Mm -hmm. fundo. Fundo. Okay, okay. Uh, no, no, uh, fundo. Stress fundo. on the last. Fundo. Fundo. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, fundo. this is a kind of important. Uh, the stress here is important because many times. This is the difference between the present and the past. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For example, um, hablo and hablo. Uh, ah, the okay. only difference is the stress. So hablo is I speak. I see. Hablo, he, she, or that spoke. Yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So be careful. It's, it's very subtle, but it's very important because it's mm -hmm. quite different. Yeah, Yeah, hablo. A blow that is exactly he or she spoke. Mm -hmm. Watch you. Okay, Steve Jobs. Um, Murillo is that's Murillo. Murillo, yeah. Murillo, Murillo. yeah. And uh, and dos, dos, dos mil once. Mm -hmm. Dos mil once, yeah. Dos mil once in California, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember the day when he died. Actually, I used to work at Apple at that time. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Steve Jobs fue en empresario mm -hmm. y magnate de. de Negocios en el uh, sector informático. Mm -hmm. Do you know Magnate? Uh, magnate. Magnate. De... Okay, Magnate is like... Is a, like a magnet, kind of like it's a big yeah, guy. Like exactly. A sector, like a business magnet. Kind of thing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. A magnet, yeah, this is actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, let's move on. Uh, um, and yes. In... Yeah, en los años um, 900, 900, 90, 90, not 900, uh -huh. 90, uh, uh, okay, so, uh, revolution, uh, uh, revolution, no, revolution, no, revolution, no, okay, that O, and then, okay, uh -huh. la industria de animación. Okay, let's do something different. Let's review the other past. Okay, so this is the one with the auxiliary verb. So this is and like I have done. So exactly. Yeah, so here uh, you have two verbs. You have the, what uh, we call the auxiliary verb or the helping verb, uh -huh. which is a ver in Spanish. Mm -hmm. In English, you're going to use half. Be careful with the one thing because many of my students, they mix up this a ver with tener. For us, Tener is possession, only for possession. Yeah. Tengo yeah. frío, tengo 30 años, tengo un perro. And this is the verb you use for uh, compound tenses, or tenses with two verbs, like this one. So this is the one we use when you say, I have been to yeah. Madrid, for example. I have done, I But have... this is not the verb you're going to use when you say, I have a cell phone. Okay, you're going to yeah. use a different verb. So this is more I have done kind of. I have exactly. done exactly. So this is the verb you use either when you say I have been, or I have done, I have whatever. Mm -hmm. Also, you can say I, which is H 
a y, let me type it, when you meet the r that is, this is the same verb actually, okay? Okay. Uh, okay, and um, remember we have a few regular ones, so we have roto, broken, yeah, we seat. have dicho, uh, what is this? Um, okay, for some reason I have this. Yeah, that's okay, yeah, that's fine. Mm, all right, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is fine, I can read it. Okay, okay. Uh, let's get started. So, I mean, Mamia, E, 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 O. So, so it will be Emos, Emos, Ido, Al Banco en Tobas. Dos. Este fin de semana. Okay, so this is E, E, Echo. Muchos ejercicios. Tres. Ya, ya, tú, so, has, so, ya, so, ya, has comprado el periódico. Ya has comprado el periódico. Cuatro. Ah, este, so, esta semana he comido mucha grasa. Cinco. Yeah, a lot of fat. Yeah. Este mañana, ah, Oír, oír, uh, uh, I don't know if this is irregular, but esta mañana he oído. Uh, uh -huh. oído, he oído. Que, ok, que mañana yo verá. Uh, uh, no, nunca, uh, nunca he leído uh, uh -huh. tantos libros como ahora. Uh -huh. uh, estas estas uh, vacaciones um, he visitado Roma. The visita. Remember that in Spanish we don't really have the Z sound. Visita. S Visita. is always uh, like double S in English. Visita. Visita. Visitado. Visita. Yeah. Visitado. Okay. Mm -hmm. Visitado. Yeah. It's okay. not. It's not very vibrant. It's not like a zipper. Okay. It's mm -hmm. like. Uh, it's like bus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, esta uh, esta tarde he uh, devuelto, I think. Perfect. Devuelto. Nueve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, siempre he uh, me. Reflexive. Uh, me. Yeah, so me. Mm -hmm. uh, me he uh, en, en, encontrado mm -hmm. uh, con tus hermanos en la playa. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, okay. okay, that's good. Okay, uh, este mes nosotros um, uh, he em, em, empezado, uh, he, he, hemos, actually, uh, mm -hmm. hemos uh, empezado. Um, empezado. Okay, the, the Z, again, is like TH. Yeah, so empezado. empezado. In Latin America, it's not even that. It's like an S. Ah, okay. So Latin America, they have what we call... Uh, ceseo. What is ah. ceseo? Let me explain a little bit about ceseo. Okay. So some people, especially all over Latin America, they don't distinguish between the S and the Z sound. Okay. okay. For, for us, I mean, even in Spain, some people have this feature. Like, uh, so in Spanish, we have two different sounds for S and Z. Mm -hmm. One is like a S like in Bus, this kind of S. Never as like in, I don't know, like um, busy, for example, it's a different kind of S. Mm -hmm. And the Z is the sound of TH as in, I don't know, um, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. thunder, uh, for example, thunder. thunder. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's like a TH. Mm -hmm. But many people, they will pronounce the same as an S. So you're gonna, for example, the word for shoe, it's zapato, yeah? zapato, but in Latin America they would never say zapato, they would say zapato. Ah, okay, zapato, zapato. Yeah. As for some of the people, it's the other way around. So they have what we call fefeo, or oh, actually with a Z, fefeo. So let us see, also sometimes have this sound, like, like a Z. Okay. So some people have this, so that means that they pronounce every S like a, a Z, like... 
they have like a lisp kind of yeah mm -hmm. uh, they speak with the tongue a little bit out of the mouth hola como esta que pasa like this especially in my region some people speak like this ah okay 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 yeah okay, yeah uh, you you can see that in Spanish there are many 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 dialects so different from one another and actually Catalan is totally different from the Spanish okay uh, Catalan is is, is I mean, all of these languages, um, Portuguese, French, uh, Italian, Catalan, Sicilia, all those dialects around Europe, mm -hmm. they all come from the same language. They are from Latin. Language. Exactly. So when I listen, so when I listen to someone speak Catalan, I can understand like ninety percent. Oh. For me, it's like it's like a mixture between. Italian, French, and old Spanish. Mm, okay. So, yeah. um, for example, um, I don't know. Um, for example, muy bien. They say, uh, muy bien, muy bien. Oh, okay. <laughs> Big deal. Big deal. Muy bien, muy bien. Muy bien. Me agrada mo. Me agrada mo. <laughs> I'm doing the Catalan accent. <laughs> Yeah, and also, I mean, on on Spanish TV, you can you can listen to a lot of Catalan. So, oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, there's some differences. Uh, so, if you happen to know French, it's even closer. Like, um, yeah, m many words they're identical. Ah. Okay, let's carry on. Jorge y Francisco han vuelto esta semana de tres. Perfect. Aime, okay, so this is reflexive. So, so Aime se ha, ha dicho. Okay, actually, uh, okay, in this case, it's the me indicates the uh, object pronoun. So it's to me. Oh, okay. okay, so it's not really reflexive. It's like oh, okay. to tell to me, literally. Yeah? I see, I see. Or to say to me, actually. So, okay. Say, Jaime, me. Me, um, me, uh, uh, dicho. Mm -hmm. oh, dicho, actually, yeah. Dicho, yeah. Dicho is said, yeah? Yeah, dicho. So, I, Jaime yeah. has said to me. Okay, Jaime has said to me, okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, todavía no, uh, no he hecho mm -hmm. los ejercicios del libro. Ejercicios. Ejercicios. Ejercicios del libro. Okay, let's move, on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. let's move on to something different. Okay, enough revision. We're going to take a look something new. Okay. Actually, I think we've seen it before, but very quickly. Today we're going to see it in more detail. Okay. okay, we're going to talk about this little word. Very, very useful. Okay. So this word literally means to take or to carry, yeah? So for okay. example, yeah, right. or even to wear, you could say for example, llevo puesto unos zapatos. Okay, wear okay. okay. one shoe. So, llevar puesto, this expression is to wear. Okay. 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 But you could say, llevo... El café a la cocina. So I take the coffee to the kitchen, for okay. example. Yeah? Okay. Now, this is one usage, but many, many times you're going to see it with a, uh, with a period of time. And this then has a different meaning in English. Um, so every time you see llevar plus a period of time, it's talk about duration. It's talk about how long... Mm, something happens in the past or something is happening, yeah. Okay, okay. For example, llevo 10 meses en España. So one thing you're going to notice is like in English, when you talk about something that started in the past, I still continue, you're going to use uh, I have been studying, I have lived, I have worked. In Spanish, you're going to use the present, okay? Um, okay so, yeah, so we'll be so, llevo this mes en España means I've been in Spain for months? 10 months. Yeah? 10 months. 
And yes, as you know, order is not as important as in English. You can change the order easily in Spanish. Uh, you can also use this one with the word desde. Then desde means since, basically, yeah? Since, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the structure would be. So here, mm -hmm. Llevo uh, diez meses en España. So I can say llevo en España diez meses also. Like exactly. That, yeah. um, exactly. You got the point. Yeah, yeah. Very good. You're getting good at it. Yeah. <laughs> Antonia lleva en España desde el verano pasado. So okay. no, you can use it with desde as well. Oh, uh, okay. You can use this one with. Uh, an adjective or past participle, which is basically an adjective. Okay. Um, so, for example, um, Rita and Jaime llevan siete meses casados. Okay. So, okay. Rita and Jaime have been married for seven, seven months. Yeah. Okay. Or okay. casado desde febrero. Yeah, it's the same. From February, yeah. So. Uh, okay, so you can also use this expression with an activity. In that case, you're going to use what we call a gerund. So a gerund in Spanish means you have an N, basically, like A-N-D-O, something like that. Star plus then, uh, like an exactly. star plus so, an N, yeah. so remember, you can use an adjective or a past participle to talk about how long something has been the way it is, yeah? Or if you talk about activity, you're going to use a gerund. For example, if I ask you, how long have you been studying Spanish? I would say, ¿cuánto tiempo? So, how long? Or oh, how much time, literally. ¿Cuánto tiempo eh, llevas estudiando español? Yeah? Okay. Llevas estudiando, yes. How long you're mm -hmm. studying Spanish? Okay. Exactly. So, you're going to use a gerund, yeah? In that case, when you talk about activity. Um... And remember, when you use um, the past participle, the adjective, remember it has to agree in number and gender. So, for example, here I say rota because I'm talking about television. So, la televisión femenina. Yeah? Yeah. And here I use the plural because I'm talking about two people. Yeah. Plural and yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's quite easy, actually, this. Yeah. I'm going to practice this. I think. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this one. This one is very easy. So you're going to add deste if it's necessary. If you don't need deste, then nothing. Okay. So basically, well, in English you say for, nothing. Okay. Uh, if you want to say since, blah, 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 then you add deste, which is okay. very easy. Okay. So for example, number one. Llevo dos semanas trabajando en este bar. So I've been working in this bar for two months. I mean, I weeks. Know. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, llevamos a uh, en España desde uh, uh, 2007. Mm -hmm. so, uh, Lucas y Alba llevan a uh, cuatro uh, desde. Uh, uh, no, here we Nothing. Nothing. Actually, yeah, because cuatro años casados, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Cuando lleváis esperando. So here. Uh, uh, so, so here and uh, this day is not necessary like in hmm. this day cuando because from since yeah uh, since, actually then, you need to say this day cuando okay this day cuando it's just Meaning, another way to say how long or since long, when yeah. since when, when literally uh, yeah it's like I was just trying to... so it's just another way to say how long this day cuando okay. Okay. So you could say both desde cuando and cuánto tiempo. It's exactly ah, the same. Yeah. Cinco. Okay. Okay. Uh, llevo estudiando uh, estudiando um, alemán uh, que tenía uh, que, that have uh, diez diez años uh, des, mm -hmm. This the here, I don't think you need it. Yes, you need it. Because this the que tenía. Uh, okay, so, llevo estudiando alemán. Okay, Dice so, que tenía yeah. 18 años. So, so we study in German. Since I, since I was, well, I had in Spanish. Yeah, 
yeah, 18 the, years, literally. Yeah, the, the, okay, now notice here I need to say que because I have a new sentence with a verb. Yeah? Uh -huh, so you okay. need to say this the que okay. because of that. Okay. okay. Says. Um, este ascensor, eh, he ever wrote uh, uh, la semana pasada, like, uh, so the last week, kind of. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, desde la semana pasada, since last yes, week. Yes, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sit. Uh, llevo estudiando la una. Mm -hmm. So, so then here, do we need, because la, because I'm, I am studying, uh, for a uh, like uh, mm -hmm. so if I says this the launa then it becomes since uh, exactly yeah, okay, okay what does launa means here what is launa what are, what am I talking about with this launa uh, sorry, one I'm, uh, I'm talking about the time, time. Okay, I mean so one o'clock okay since one o'clock okay okay remember when you talk about uh, time one o'clock, we talk about hours in Spanish, okay? Ah, okay, okay. So, in Spanish, la hora is feminine. So, you say la una, las dos, las tres, las cuatro, yeah? Ocho. Okay, so, so, llevamos, uh, uh, since one hour, uh, desde una, una hora corriendo, and here, uh, so, llevamos, so, we are kind of, for one hour and uh, okay you need nothing nothing at all okay okay let's go through it one more time yeah that's good. okay so what does number one means so llevo uh, so so i am uh, uh, for for two weeks i'm working in the bar kind of mm -hmm, mm -hmm. number two uh, so we are in Spain uh, since uh, 2007. Mm -hmm. Three. Uh, Lucas and Alba um, uh, are uh, uh, quattro for uh, uh, four years, kind of. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so so they they are married for uh, no. Uh, they have been married for four four years. Four years. Ah, uh, yes. yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, desde cuando llevas esperando? So, uh, so since when uh, you are uh, um, uh, and so esperando is um, you are um, well, esperar. What is esperar? Yeah, esperar is oh, okay. Wait. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Okay. So, how long you're waiting? Okay. How long have you been waiting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long have you been waiting? Desde cuando lleváis esperando, ya? Yeah? O cuánto tiempo lleváis esperando? Okay, cinco. Okay, okay so llevo estudiando alemán. So I'm studying German since I have uh, since 18, uh, 18 years. Mm -hmm. So I've been studying German since I was 18. Okay, 18 years. Six. 10 years. 10 years. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, 18, 18, 6. Yeah, so este ascenso lleva uh, roto la semana, uh, desde la semana pasada, so since last week. So mm -hmm. este, the elevator, this elevator broke since the last week. Kind of. Okay, this elevator has been broken. Yeah. Broken. Or it's yeah. broken since broken last, last week. week. Mm -hmm. Siete. Okay. So, llevo estu estudiando desde la una. So, mm -hmm. I'm studying uh, uh, since uh, or one o'clock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One mm -hmm. o'clock. Eight. So, so, llevamos una hora. Uh, so, we are uh, corriendo. Is okay. <laughs> this true? Run running. Running. Okay, we are running. For one hour, kind of like. Mm -hmm. So we'll be running for an hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is it? Wasn't it? Where is it? I don't know. <laughs> okay, now we're going to make it a little bit more difficult because now we have two separate sentences and we have to combine them. So you're going to have the, the situation and then the time, for example. 
Nos casamos hace seis años. So we got married six years ago. Okay. We are still okay. married. Okay. Seguimos so casados. So you could say this. Llevamos seis años casados. We've been married for six years. Remember, you can change the order as you can see here. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Number two. La lavadora se rompió la semana pasada. So, the washing machine the broke got the broken. Week. Yeah, got broken. That's why we say se. Yeah? Okay, last yeah. week. Okay. It's still broken. Sigue rota. Okay. So, so, okay. So, the washing machines it will be lleve mm, uh, so la lavadora oh okay uh, la, la lavadora okay uh, 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 yeah. okay so so um, uh, lleve uh, lleva uh, lleva okay lleva okay Lleva, um, uh, okay, so it is still broke, I said, so, um, okay, so, say, so, Okay, so. what do we have to use now? So, so, now we have to talk about the situation, yeah? The, so, so, the rompio, the, 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 the verb, so it is broken. Uh-huh, how do you say that? So, so, so it broke, so it is, uh, uh, roto, which will be, uh, okay, you're getting close. Roto, okay, but you say la lavadora. Oh, okay, so, so, uh, so, uh, rota, kind of, so it's, there it's, you are. Yeah, so, so, lavadora lleva rota, now rota. what do we need? And so, so then the time, kind of, so, mm -hmm. so, la semana, uh, pasada, so, kind of. so, if, if, it got broken last week. How long? So yeah. okay, so, so it is broken for a week, kind of. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. okay. uh, so 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 uno semana or una semana. Una, yeah. una semana. So okay. lavadora lleva okay, rota la, una rota. semana. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, o is, lavadora okay. lleva una semana rota. You could say both. Okay. So time the verb. The lleva mm -hmm. and then the noun la lavadora. Okay. Mm -hmm. The subject kind of here. Okay. Enferme hace dos días. So I got yeah. ill yeah, two days ago. Yeah. I'm still ill. Okay. So, uh, so okay. So, so, so I, I can start with. Okay. So I'm talking about me. Yeah. Yeah, right. So, so, okay. So, and, okay. So, in for me, it's, uh, so, 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 give and, uh, uh, give, uh, okay. Talk about me. Uh, so, uh, give, right? Like, give, um, number one, me, yo. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. Okay. Re remember, okay. Remember this, but it's a verb. Okay. Right. So if I'm right. talking about me, I need to change the ending. Right. So llevo, right? Like llevo. So, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, llevo. Okay. So then, uh, then it will be uh, so uh, for two days, and then I am ill for. Okay. For llevo dos días. Uh, uh -huh. Dos días. Uh, uh, enferm, uh, enferm. mm -hmm. Enfermo. Yeah. Yes. If I were a woman, I would say this. But I'm not a woman, so I say this. Yeah? Okay. So, llevo dos días enfermo. O llevo enfermo dos días. You can say either one, okay? It's quite easy when you get the hang of it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, me enfade con uh, Lola el mes pasado. So, I got angry with, with Lola, Lola last month. I'm month? still angry. I'm angry, okay. Uh, it's so. Who is talking? A woman or a man? Uh, I am so so enfada. So so and so uh, enfadada. So that's a woman, right? Like, exactly. So, so I know yeah. it's a woman who's talking. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So 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 it will be. Uh, I'm talking about she. Yeah. Right. So lleva. 
mm, uh, okay so the so so then i can put uh, the um okay and uh, and father and uh, mm -hmm. so for, for one month so un, un mes. so lleva enfadada un mes. so she has been angry and for a month yeah okay. she's been angry for a month mm -hmm. okay. Bingo. Uh, me en, en sucia, los zapatos en okay. ensuciar what it means ensuciar is to get dirty Oh, okay, and so see, okay. So me and so see, okay, that's the, the shoes got dirty yesterday. So I got my shoes dirty last night, still, yeah? Is, yeah, and it is still dirty, okay. Mm -hmm. So, so, llevo, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, llevo, uh, en, uh, en sucio, um, Okay, this one is a little bit more difficult, because I'm talking about my shoes, actually. So in Spanish... Yeah. You're gonna add this. Llevo los zapatos sucios. Sucios. Okay. okay. So. Um, uh, yeah. Was last night. So un día, yeah. Un día. Okay. One day. Okay. Or you could say, desde la noche. Desde la noche. Well. From last night. Okay. Okay. Desde. Mm -hmm. Okay. Since last night. Yeah. Last night. So literally, it's like I've been. With my shoes dirty since last, last night. night. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, esa tienda cerró hace dos meses. Uh, uh, so, so this shop, okay, it's closed till uh, for two months. It is still closed. So, so esa tienda uh, lleve. Lleva. Uh, lleva. Lleva. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Lleva a Sere dos meses. Sera, yeah, Sera, yeah. Serada. Serada. Oh, okay, the, the verb is okay, okay, okay. Serada, mm -hmm. dos meses is fine, right? For two mm -hmm. months. Yeah. So that shop has it's been closed for two months. For two months. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, Remember, you need to use the past participle. Okay, you uh, need to use. Okay, why the past participle? Because this is an adjective. It's mm -hmm. the form. So it's the form. Uh, so it's the adjective of a verb. Okay, so uh -huh. you understand. So it's like in English when you say broken or you say down. The actually adjective, yeah. Siete. Okay. okay. Uh, teléfono se estropeó el domingo. Uh, estropeó, I don't know that means. Uh, broken or not working, yeah. So that te telephone is broken from Sunday, kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so yes, okay. So, uh, uh, el telefono, uh, uh, lleve. Lleva. Uh, Never lleve, lleve no, lleva. Lleve is a subjunctive, okay? Oh, okay, lleva, lleva, mm -hmm. okay. Um, okay, uh, uh, es, uh, es, uh, es, uh, Estrope, eh, eh, estrope, estropeado uh, desde domingo. Desde el domingo. El domingo, okay, el domingo. We need to add the article the, the article, article, yeah. weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Desde yeah. el domingo. Mm -hmm. uh, can you scroll up a little bit and see? Sure, that? sure. Uh... Okay. A little more. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna remove this. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. This is fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Es, uh, uh, este bar abrió en verano. Okay, this bar opens in, the, in summer. See, uh, are opened in the summer and sigue abierto. It is still open, kind of. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, so, so ese uh, ese bar uh, uh, lleva. Mm -hmm. uh, um, 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 abriado, uh, abierto, mm -hmm. uh, abierto desde verano. Desde el verano. El verano, I guess, missing the, the yeah. mail. So, the summer. Time. So, you yeah. need to place the article also with uh, yeah. seasons. So, seasons, yeah. uh, day of the week, all that. You need to place the article, yeah? yeah. 
So, el verano, el domingo, el martes, ¿sí? So, ese bar lleva abierto desde el verano. Ok, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna tell you a sentence. Let's see if you understand. Los restaurantes uh -huh. llevan cerrado desde el marzo del año pasado. So, this restaurant is closed from March last year. Exactly. So, restaurants. Yeah. Los restaurantes. Oh, los restaurantes. Okay. So, plural. Okay. Okay. The mm -hmm. restaurant. Okay. 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 Yeah. Very bad situation. <laughs> <laughs> I think there is someone in Spain or not only in Spain, any parts of the world. Uh, now, now they decided to to close everything for two weeks. So. <laughs> Only, only is what they call essential shops, like yeah. uh, grocery stores, stuff like uh, that. Pharmacy. They can sell, uh, they can sell takeaways, but I mean, uh, well, I, I, well, you probably know, like life in Spain, like we usually like going out at night yeah, a, yeah. a lot. Like mm -hmm. uh, as you know, in Spain we have dinner very, very late compared to right. other countries. So for restaurant, bar, all these kind of uh, businesses, they when they make more money, uh, night, yeah, yeah. But and everything it's... have to do with uh, uh, night lifestyle, like uh, mm -hmm. nightclubs, mm -hmm. pubs, yeah. all that is dead, totally dead. Yeah, I don't know what will happen to the economy. This is uh, unbelievable. I mean, this is so. It I think makes no I sense. Like for me, it makes no sense to close everything at night because I mean, this will cause the... more problems to people than COVID. I think, to be honest. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's the remedy is worse than the cure. I because mean, in uh... America, most things are open and people are fine. There are not even yeah. twenty yeah. deaths a day at most. <laughs> look, look, it's 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 even worse. Like uh, they made a restaurant or you know to prepare the the place for the virus. Uh, you know, they got separator, they got a sanitizer. You know, they make them mm -hmm. invert uh, invest money to change the, the place to be adapted to to this new mm -hmm. situation. Then they were open for a while. Then they have to to close again. I mean. It's really unfair. It's really unfair. And they still have to pay taxes, a lot of taxes, by the way. Plus, they have to pay the rents because they're renting. A yeah, it's everything. Taxes, behind. rent, salary, the money they have to invest because of the, you know, because otherwise they couldn't open. Some, um, yeah, some places like restaurant, they have to ask for permission to have the table on the street, which yeah. you have to pay uh uh you know you have to pay taxes for that as well uh yeah it's a lot of taxes it's um uh, more income and taxes just pay taxes. yeah it's it's unbelievable how much we pay here it's i mean compared to the salary we pay as much as the german but the german <laughs> make double the money we do okay, so it's unbelievable it's unbelievable honestly <laughs> Yeah, that's why people say like Spain is a great place to live but not work kind of like no not working honestly no no because uh, of the taxes because uh, you know I mean I mean you can you can I mean if you're if you have um, um, like if if you have a, like a specialization, it's easy to find a good job. And if you have a job, it's a good place. But I mean, until you find a job, it's quite difficult because yeah, that's... A, a lot of competition, um, a lot of irregularities as well. Uh, like mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, also, we have an uh, the same as you say. I mean, we have a, also an issue with uh, illegal immigrants. Yeah, that's a huge thing in Europe. Now. Yeah, <laughs> even especially here where like. Yeah, quite a lot of problem with that. Um, anyway, we're going to do now the same, but we're going to talk about activities. So we're going to okay. use gerundio instead, okay? Okay. Uh, for example, here, number one. Vivimos en Quito, so we live in Quito. Vinimos en Quito hace 10 meses. So we came here, Quito, so, yeah. 10 months ago. So llevamos 10 meses viviendo en Quito. So we've been living in Quito for 10 months. 
Ten más antivinimos, okay. antivinimos, ante, ok. Um, uh, estoy buscando, me decía, Hapas. Um, I'm looking for my glasses. Uh -huh. uh, empe, empecé a buscar, a buscarlas hace una hora. So, um, so I started looking, looking for them and I worry. Ok, uh, so, so estoy buscando. So I'm talking about me, so llevo. Yes, uh, and llevo uh, uh, yeah, uh, for for one hour. I'm looking at the glasses. So, so llevo una hora uh, busca, um, uh, so buscando uh, 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 mis gafas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like Latin, Latin American, they call it lentes. Yeah. Ah, okay. So glasses okay. is um, lentes or gafas. Or okay. and some places anteojos, they also call it. Okay. Anyway, I think they will understand if you say gafas. Okay. Okay. Tres. Uh, Alberto está leyendo. Uh, se puso el día a las días. Okay. For ten. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, so Alberto, so it is, uh, uh, so, lleva. Uh, Hmm? So lleva, Alberto Alberto lleva, lleva uh, yeah. So then uh, uh, las días, uh, las días. Uh, can... Okay, desde las días. Desde las días, yeah. since, since, yeah. since, yeah. uh -huh. uh, since, 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 uh, uh, leyendo, leyendo, uh -huh. yeah. leyendo, leyendo, reading, yeah, since. Uh -huh. uh, if you want, un libro. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh. there is okay. But that's option, okay? Uh, I mean, it doesn't really say if it's a book, a magazine, well. Yeah. Okay, this is an expression I would like to point out. Very good expression. Empecé. Se puso, se puso. So this means exactly the same as empezó. Okay? It's just okay. another way to say empezó. Okay. Started, yeah? Okay, started. Oh, okay. like in English you will say get down to. It's kind of like saying get down to do something, you know, start doing something. So, se puso a trabajar, for example, se puso a leer, se puso, it's very common. Mm -hmm. um, for example, get down, get down to work. You could say, empiez, ponte a trabajar, for example, yeah? Okay, okay. All right. Cuatro. Okay. Cuatro. Uh, trabajo en este bar, uh, empecé, uh, um, empecé hace dos semanas, okay? So, trabajo, llevo, so this is me. Mm -hmm. Llevo. Uh, 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 llevo tra uh, trabajo. Um, uh, uh, okay, remember, you need a gerund when you talk yeah. about activity. So it's Trabaja not trabajo, but trabajando. Yeah. Yeah. Llevo trabajando dos semanas um, en este bar. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's flawless. Yeah. Way to go. Llevo trabajando dos semanas en este bar. O llevo... You could change the order <laughs> again. You could say, llevo, llevo en este bar trabajando dos semanas. O llevo uh -huh. trabajando en este bar dos semanas. All That's the same. same. Okay. okay. Uh, so as you can see, Spanish is very flexible as far as order is concerned. But very yeah, straight with the... So the only thing you have to worry about is the conjugation. Conjugation must be perfect. Otherwise, you you either you're not saying it right or you're saying something completely different. Like if you say lleva, for example, yeah, I would say, I would think you talk about somebody else. Yeah, right. Because yeah, and in English, I think the order is more stricter. Kind of yeah, order. English is all about order. order yeah. yeah. Uh, it's quite common, for example, for Spanish speakers to say things like, I like very much football. Uh, this is something you can hear a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is one of my my problems when I have to teach English. I have to tell them, order, please, order. <laughs> <laughs> and in Spanish, it is conjugation. <laughs> no, because for us, it's not really important. It's like, it's the same. What's the problem? I say, because in Spanish you say, for example, me gusta chocolate. El chocolate me gusta. El chocolate uh, me gusta. It's all the same. Yeah. <laughs> so when I tell, no, 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 what's the matter? It's still, I like very much football. What's the, what's the difference? No difference. <laughs> and even worse, like they, they keep telling me, 
my teacher says that <laughs> <laughs> because they have, you know, they usually have like an English lesson at school. Um, unfortunately, most teachers they don't even speak any language, so oh, okay. and they will. It's kind of like they teach English grammar, but reading it in the Spanish way. So, uh. <laughs> so you can, you know, I'm so, so sick and tired of, uh, of hearing pencil, pencil, like this, pencil. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, there's so many words mispronounced. Uh. <laughs> like I, I spend a lot of time teaching about English pronunciation. Rather yeah. than grammar, yeah, because this is the main is the main issue when you teach English pronunciation, because they are used to reading everything as it's written. Mm -hmm. um, you know, English is not like Spanish; like everything is is said the way it's written. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, right. That's good. They, they like they don't understand how can English, English people speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Well, for me, like how can Spanish speak? No, but no, for I... us, it makes sense yeah. because everything is written where you pronounce. Yeah, yeah, that's true. The only difficulty is the grammar, especially verbs. Yes, yeah, and I think the main thing is the irregularity. I think to me, like that in the in the, in the verbs. Yeah, and another thing they they do a lot no, is dropping the subject. Like in English, yeah. you say it is raining. Yeah. So you can hear people say, "Is cold, is cold, is hot," yeah, like this. Yeah, and also Without... the, other thing is the the feminine masculine, everything is either feminine or masculine kind of. So that's also different than English. No, but in English it's even easier. This is not really an issue when they have to speak in English because it's ah, it's it's always yeah, hot. right. Okay. What I'm saying is in Spanish, like let's say I have to say El Domingo, like in English. Oh yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is also a problem. Yeah, it's just how you learn, kind of. Yeah, I think the best way to learn this is to remember the the article. To learn the everything, words. yeah, with to the, learn the words with the article. With so, the, for example, if you grammar. learn El Domingo, if you know you say El Domingo, you oh, don't yeah. even need to worry about if it's feminine or masculine because you know it's El Domingo. So, El mm -hmm. Domingo, uh, El Sábado... El perro, el gato, la mesa, yeah? Libro, yeah, la mesa, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this this is how we learn, actually. So yeah, we, yeah, don't, yeah. we don't really think, ah, this is a family, this is masculine. It's just the way we hear it and we just repeat. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, Jesús está esperando a Marta. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a common name here. Yeah, like, I know for many foreigners this is like, why you call Jesus? It's quite common. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesulito, yeah, Jesulito, little Jesus, yeah. So, okay, so, so Li Jesus. little Jesus. <laughs> yeah, waiting for Martha. Yeah, there is a song that says Jesusito de mi vida. So what does it mean? Jesucito de mi vida. Okay, de mi vida. Okay. Little Jesus from my life, yeah. From my life, yeah. Okay. So uh, Jesus or Jesus is waiting for Martha. Martha. You go a la cita the media hora for one for half hour kind of half an hour ago. Yeah. 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 Okay. So okay. So so Jesus. So, so this is uh, lleva. Uh, so Jesus lleva. Jesus, mm -hmm. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, uh, Jesus lleva. Uh, uh, Esperando uh, media hora a Marta. Uh, a mm -hmm. Marta. Yeah. yeah. You could say the one. Okay. So you can say, Jesus lleva media hora esperando a Marta, or Jesus lleva esperando media hora a Marta. I mean, no difference. Okay, okay. I mean, the only thing that has to be together is the subject and the verb. Subject and the lleva verb. And then again, if we know we talk about this guy here, mm -hmm. you can just drop it. Oh, uh, okay. Spanish is like this. Once you serve the bowl, you don't need to serve it again. I mean, uh -huh. if you talk about, okay, if I'm talking about this guy and then I say another thing about this guy, I don't need to repeat his name or I don't mm -hmm. need to, to say he, 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 he. It's not like in English. In English, you have to say he, blah, 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 he, he, yeah. he. In Spanish, it's just he, blah, 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 and then you repeat the verb, blah, 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 and then. So you don't, you don't need to say all the time, el, 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 or Jesus, 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 Jesus. 
not really. Just the first sentence. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't, if you still talk about the same person, no need to, to use a pronoun or anything like that. Uh -huh. Only if you talk about somebody else, you will use uh, el otro hombre or whatever, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Alicia, Alicia está durmiendo, se acostó hace 10 horas. Okay, so... Uh, so Alicia uh, lleva uh, durmia, uh, durmiendo uh, diez, uh, uh, diez horas. Um, uh -huh. Alicia tribute. lleva durmiendo diez horas. Yeah. Así posta. Okay. Yeah, okay. Sonia está viajando por América del Sur. Comenzó el viaje en julio. Okay. Comenzó. 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 No, no. Comenzó. Lo comenzó. Comenzó. Mm -hmm. Comenzó. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh, so, Sonia lleve uh, viando. Um, uh, viando. Uh, 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 lleva ya. Yeah, viando uh, 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 desde uh, julio uh, uh, mm -hmm. por América del Sur. Yeah. But that's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Sonia lleva viajando desde julio por América del Sur. Yeah. Exacto. Uh, Ocho. Conduce, conduce Pedro. Okay. Uh, uh, empezó a conducir a las 8. Okay. So, so Pedro uh, lleva, uh, uh, lleva conduciendo uh, uh, desde a las 8. Uh, desde, desde las, las 8. 8. Uh -huh. Desde las 8. Why do we say last? Because we mean last ocho horas. Yeah. But yeah, we yeah. usually drop the word horas, okay? Yeah. yeah. So, so when you talk hours. about, uh, when you cool. mean blah, 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 o'clock, we okay. usually say feminine article. You say la una, las dos, las tres. Mm -hmm. We don't really say horas, okay? It's, uh -huh. I mean, it's, uh, it's inferred, okay? When mm -hmm. you say last ocho, we understand we mean last ocho horas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we don't really say las ocho horas, we just say las ocho. Okay? Las so you say, ¿qué hora es las ocho? Yeah, simple. Uh, okay? So just any hours, since it is more than one, it is plural, kind of. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you say la una, then you say las dos, las and tres, las cuatro. Las cuatro. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, we're going to take a look at something a little bit different. Um... Right. So, what about if you mean someone being without doing something or not doing something for a while? Okay. We use something a little bit different. So, we're going to use this verb, llevar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're going to use sin, S I N. Okay, so, sin means without, literally. Yeah. yeah. An important difference. Beber You're going to use infinitive. I see. So not drinking. So remember, in, in Spanish, after preposition, we usually, or I would say always, use an infinitive. Uh -huh. So, for example, this sentence. Llevo yeah. desde julio sin beber alcohol. Not so alcohol, not okay? Alcohol. Alcohol. Okay. So alcohol. I've, been, I've been without drinking alcohol. Since July. Then. Since July, exactly. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, la última vez que mis, uh, mis padres uh, comieron carne fue hace cinco años. Okay. So, so mis padres, padres okay, llevan. Mis padres llevan. Uh, okay, so um, uh, comer, uh, comer, uh, uh, okay, okay, comer okay. sin you, carne. Sin, okay, the, the, the structure is sin, then verb. Sin, then comer. Car sin comer, cinco años. Cinco años, okay. No, the, the okay. carne should be there, right? The meat. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sin yeah. comer carne, cinco años. Yes, you're right. Cinco años. Of course. <laughs> yeah, otherwise they would be dead. <laughs> Without eating. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my bad, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, it's very very early in the morning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tres. Las, uh, 
la ultima vez que fui a clase fue hace un mes, ok. Uh, so, la uh, vez que fui, so, en, so, llevo, llevo, ok. Uh, I, 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 I didn't go, so fui el vi. Uh, what is the okay? Uh, you need seen always when you talk about something you didn't do, it's always seen. Yeah, in, then, uh, when the gerund of we is uh, like to no, 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 it, it's not the it's not the gerund, it's oh, infinitive. It, 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 oh, okay, okay, so so then it is boy, so seen uh, infinitive. Oh, uh, oh, I think it just think so it, infinitive it, means uh, ir, er, or ar. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it, okay. It, it just, uh, I, I can't see anymore. I think it just, the time just finished. Okay, okay, this sentence will be, llevo sin ir. Yeah, ir, okay. A just clases like un mes. Learn English with Javi Fontalba. The place where you can learn English. www.classgap.com slash en slash tutor slash javi dash fontalba please follow me on youtube and instagram subscribe and share see you soon <laughs>